Greetings. Let's have a look at installing FL Studio Mobile as a plugin in FL Studio for PC. First, let's extract the zip file, and you'll have the FL Mobile folder. In there, you can see the plugin data. So we need to put that into FL Studio. Just right click the FL Studio icon and select Open File Location. And there's the FL Studio install folder. Open Plugins, Fruity Generators. And this is the location where we want to copy the FL Mobile folder. I'll just make some room and drag the folder in there on the right. Next, let's open FL Studio and scan for the plugin. So right click the browser plugin database and select refresh plugin list fast scan. Then open installed generators fruity and there's FL Studio Mobile. So let's drag and drop it on the channel rack. I'll just give you a quick overview of some features. I'm rolling my mouse wheel on the playlist to zoom it. Click and drag on the playlist grid to move it. There are also two play controls. This one at the top you can drag about and down the bottom on the transport bar. I can drag the keyboard up and click temp to open the tempo controls. Make some tweaks. Yeah, there's also a tap tempo function. And metronome. When you click on tracks in the playlist, you'll open the MIDI controller for it, either a drum pad player, or a keyboard. Double click clips to open the channel rack. There's one for each track in the playlist. Cool is that you can stack multiple instruments and effects, and they'll respond to the data in the track. So if I solo this track, you can see the synth at the top, followed by a rack of effects. And I can open the synth presets to browse them. Double click a clip to open the piano roll. And there's some normal editing functions, resizing, etc. And for the step sequencer, there's one per drum instrument. Here's the standard controls. Click the plus icon to load a new sound, for example. Hiding down here is another panel with the all velocity, pan, and pitch controls, per step, per track. And yes, these are coming back to FL Studio for PC as soon as possible. Well, not as soon as possible, as they're not in 12.3, which is coming next, but soon anyway. Notice you can drag and resize all these panels. The reason for this is that we've designed FL Mobile 3 to work on everything from a 5-inch phone up to a 72-inch screen. And this system provides the flexibility to do that. And here's the controls for the keyboard. You can have a double keyboard. And from there you can open the mixer. By the way, at the top of the playlist is the master track. All audio passes through the FX on its rack. The FL Mobile 3 plugin is identical to the mobile versions for Android, iOS, Windows Phone and App. So you'll be able to work on your projects on both your PC and the mobile device without skipping a beat. And with that, I'll leave you to explore FL Studio Mobile 3 inside FL Studio, door within a door, and you've got to love that.